Welcome everyone. Today we're going to explore one of the most common yet tricky interview questions. Tell me about a time when you had to learn something new within a short deadline. This question might sound simple, but it's actually a clever way hiring managers use to get a sense of your adaptability, problem-solving skills and ability to perform under pressure. From tech startups to Fortune 500 companies, this question has found its way into interviews across various industries. And why not? In today's fast-paced world, the ability to quickly grasp new concepts and apply them effectively is a sought-after skill. So when an interviewer asks you this question, they're not just interested in the what, but also the how. They want to know how you approach unfamiliar tasks, how you manage your time, and how you react when the heat is on. Understanding the context of this question is the first step towards crafting an impressive response. So what does this question really mean? What are interviewers looking for in your response? When an interviewer asks you to talk about a time when you had to learn something new within a short deadline, they're not just interested in the fact that you learned, they're digging deeper. They want to see your learning agility, how quickly you can pick up new skills, especially when under pressure. This question also provides a sneak peek into how you handle stress. Do you buckle under pressure or do you rise to the occasion and thrive? They're also looking at your time and resource management skills. How do you prioritize tasks? Do you make effective use of available resources? In essence, this question is a three-in-one deal. It's about your learning agility, your stress management, and your time and resource management skills. Now that we've unpacked the question, let's move on to how you can construct a compelling response. Crafting an effective response requires thoughtful reflection on your past experiences. Let's break down the key elements to include in your answer. First, set the scene with a brief overview of the situation. Were you faced with a new software at work, or perhaps a sudden project with a tight deadline? Next, elaborate on the specific challenge. Was it the complexity of the task or the time constraint? This is where you illustrate the urgency or difficulty that added pressure to the situation. Then, detail the action you took. Did you seek assistance from a colleague? Or did you pull an all-nighter to study the new software? Remember, this is your chance to showcase your problem-solving skills. Finally, reveal the results of your action. Did you finish the project on time? Or did you master the new software? In each stage, be concise yet detailed. Paint a clear picture of your adaptability and resilience. With these elements in mind, let's examine some examples of good and bad responses. Understanding what to do and what not to do can be incredibly helpful when preparing your own response. Let's dive into some examples. First, the good. In my previous role as a project manager, I was tasked with learning a new project management software within a week. I immersed myself in tutorials, reached out to the software company for tips, and even organized an in-house training session. By the end of the week, I was proficient enough to train my team, and we successfully transitioned to the new software. This response is clear, relevant, and includes key elements like the situation, the task, the action, and the result. Now for the bad, yeah, I had to learn something new once, it was hard, but I did it. This response lacks clarity and detail and fails to include the key elements we discussed earlier. Learning from these examples can significantly improve your own response. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's summarize the key points. The question, tell me about a time when you had to learn something new within a short deadline is a common interview hurdle. It's designed to examine your adaptability, problem-solving skills, and how you handle pressure. In your response, make sure to include the situation, the actions you took, and the results of your efforts, the STAR method. And remember, it's not just about the end result, it's about the journey and the skills you developed along the way. We've also looked at some good and bad responses. The good ones were specific, focused, and highlighted a positive outcome while the bad ones were vague, lacked structure, and didn't convey a clear message. Remember, preparation is key. With a bit of reflection and practice, you'll be well equipped to tackle this question in your next interview. Thank you for watching, and best of luck in your job search journey. Thank you for watching. If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? Comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.